Hey everyone, I wanted to share this with you. If you have a Cisco router, and I suppose this could be true for a switch also, and I haven't experienced this, but you get it where it's doing this thing where it's throwing you these um, possible soft software fault messages. Um, the symptom is that the machine will keep trying to reboot and then finally, like it did with me, it just stops. It just finally gets to, it won't reboot anymore. Now you can power off the device, which I just did now, I'm gonna power it back on. Um, but what I was told is that if I add some memory to this, it should make this issue go away. So I'm going to um, add some more memory and then we'll come back and see if it did make the problem go away. All right, so this is the inside of that router I was just showing you the console on and it has no memory chip in it. Uh, the, the unit does come with, even without the memory chip, comes with native 128, but I bought a kit, or well, I bought one chip uh, to add 256. So it's, if you've never added memory to a router or, or switch before, it's about the same as it is for PC. Same concept, find the slot, line up the teeth, make sure your teeth fit in there good, push it down, lock it in place. That's about all there is to it. So now, I uh, should have, what, uh, 386 now, so let's go see if that uh, solved my out-of-memory error that I was seeing in that console. Alright, so I've got that memory installed, got my console cable connected again, so we're going to get the putty fired up here, and then we're going to, I'm going to turn on the power, and let's see what happens this time. We get a memory inventory here at some point. Yep, there we go. 393216 kilobytes of main memory. So we got our memory installed. Let's see if my error clears now. Okay, well, it looks like it's ready for me to start putting in some config, so must have solved the problem. Anyway, hope you found that useful, and maybe it helps you out if you're having a similar issue. Thanks for watching.